start with the numbers. Chiefs overcome a 10 point final quarter deficit to claim the Super Bowl. Cristiano Ronaldo's scoring spree in Serie A stretches to nine straight games. Novak Djokovic extends his Aussie Open singles title record to eight. Despite just a couple of sub appearances and starting only once, Ellen ha Haaland already has seven goals for Dortmund. City lose for the sixth time, and Liverpool now need just six more wins to take the Premier League title. Eimba score five against San Pedro and Cote d'Ivoire to reach the quarterfinals of the Confederations Cup. The top four teams in the MPFL are separated by just four points and it was a three-set affair as Sofia Kenner defeated Gabi Muguruza 2-1 to one to claim her maiden slam. And this is your number one sports show on radio. My name is Dave Jomoto and welcome to Sports Experience brought to you by MTN. Quite a lot of talk about, let's get cracking with Pedro Peter. Thanks, Deja. Our first story is from tennis, where Novak Djokovic successfully defended his Australian Open crown after defeating Austrian fifth seed Dominic Thiem in a gripping five-set final on Sunday. The 32-year-old Serb had won the opening set but lost the second and third before fighting back to win 6-4, 4-6, 2-6-6, to become the first man to win a Grand Slam title in three different decades since the Open era began in 1968. The victory sees Djokovic win a record-extending eighth Australian Open title the 17th Grand Slam title, and he will return to the top of the world rankings when they are released later today. To the ladies, American 14th seed Sofia Kenin claimed a maiden Grand Slam title after emerging victorious over unseeded Spaniard Gabin Muguruza in the final of the Australian Open last weekend. The 21 year old recovered after losing the opening set to beat two time major winner Muguruza 4 6 6 2 6 2 to become the eighth first time women's champion in the past 12 Grand Slam tournaments. Kenin is the youngest Australian Open champion since Maria Sharapova in 2008 and will rise to 7th in the world when the WTA rankings are released later today. To Motorsport, the organizers of the All-Electric Formula E Championship have postponed next month's race scheduled for China due to the coronavirus outbreak. The 6th race of the 2019-2020 season was due to take place in Sanya, around 1,000 miles from Wuhan on March the 21st. But series organizers have taken action after the World Health Organization, WHO, declared the coronavirus a global emergency. More than 300 people have died in the outbreak so far, and more than 14,000 persons have been affected. Lastly, to American football, the 54th annual Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs produced a sensational comeback to beat the San Francisco 49ers 31-20 to win the NFL 54th annual Super Bowl in Miami, Florida on Sunday. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes put up a staggering fourth quarter display to emerge the most valuable player on the night, while Damien Williams scored two touchdowns in the final quarter to add gloss to the scoreline as the Chiefs came from 10 points behind to stun the 49ers. The victory sees the Kansas City Chiefs win the Vince Lombardi Trophy for the first time in 50 years since they last did so in 1970. Well, let me just bring somebody in for a few moments because he's been gloating and gloating all night. <laughs> well, he called it... <laughs> Those who had any to call it from the start of the season, you have to say, you called Kansas City Chiefs for the Super Bowl. And then on Friday, you called Patrick Mahomes to, for the MVP. Yes, I did. So, did you bet? Unfortunately, <laughs> You should have bet. You, you are not a betting man. But City um, Chiefs deserved? Yes, well deserved. They mm -hmm. narrowly missed going to the Super Bowl last season. Yeah. They took the Patriots to overtime in the AFC Championship game. So that was what gave me the idea that look, they look this, like these might, guys are go good, one step they, they have a very good coach. Okay. And now he's one of Okay, them. so what we're gonna to do tomorrow, I'm gonna to bring in another NFL person. Tomorrow I'm gonna to do a comprehensive review of the Super Bowl. I just wanted you to have your moment on the sun because of your correct prediction. Thank you, Tosi. We go to the NBA. Um, NBA results, Detroit Pistons over Denver Nuggets 128-123, Milwaukee Bucks over Phoenix Suns 129-108, Houston Rockets shot down New Orleans Pelicans 117-109, and Toronto Raptors defeated Chicago Bulls 129-102, the Raptors are on an 11 game winning streak, but yeah, the, the defending champions are acting up, so to speak. They are acting up, but um, mm. they, 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 have a big, uh, they have two huge obstacles on their way, um, they have the Celtics also playing well. And they have the box so have that one for two games for two games before the other weekend. That's wow. that's massive. Huge. The box are looking like they're gonna win six this season. Um when, when we see, I, I think the only team that has won six and not only tied to title was the um the Warriors that lost to the Cavaliers. Remember that um that, that, that season? Uh, so I think uh, the, the box are the, the box the way they're going, they'll have the um um they probably have the, the top seed all through the playoffs, and that's what the Raptors will have to contend with in the playoffs. Okay. So that's it.
and the NBA will return after the break with the Nigerian Sports Scene. Nigerian Sports Scene on Sports Express brought to you by MTN. But Eguchi is here. MPFL results. There's Calf Confred Cup. Let's start with that. Um, San Pedro 2, AM by 5. Anybody needed a victory? They got to what I call this one. They got two victories in one, more or less. Because it was 5 2. When you score 5 away from home, you've got to respect that. And they are in the heart for the quarterfinals. Yes, they are. And you know, we're talking about that team. Anybody needed to get a result because the team that they're contending with won away 3 0. Mm. Uh, that's not able against uh, against um, Asana Agadir. That result was unlikely, but the one that won't win that Aimba, um, Alassane Bashir, uh, Victor Bauma, Stanley Dingba, uh, all, that, well, all of them, and it goes to Mbauma scoring twice. So five goals is good. Uh, they, 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 that's so, some relief from, uh, from from their troubles. I mean, they're they doing well, they're they they doing far better than consider that they're doing mm. anything. So mm. I think it's a welcome win for them. And Rangers won one and two with our Masri, the game that was played in the night. The well, Rangers had not, well, I'm sure if Rangers didn't that game qualify, that game would have been 2 p.m. Of course, so <laughs> but it was 1-1, and Rangers undone by the three draws they played in this group stage, I think. Yep, in this game, they, 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 were, they, were, they went back early uh, because the results called uh, in the sixth right. minute, but they, they, they fall back on that. But still, um, they, they, for, for long periods, the results were in control mm -hmm. of, of the game. Uh, they had much, much chance at goal. I think it was two home draws that yeah, really did them. Yes, mm -hmm. but hey, um, credit to Rangers, if, if they stronger than they started, um, a win win and, and home draw. Maybe not what they want, but hey, um, give, you, give, you, give you where they are coming from, mm -hmm. I think. The, the, the and to the NBFL, Nasara 3 1 over Abia, Pillars 2 0 over Adamawa, Plato 1 0 over Rivers, Jigawa 1 0 over Lobi, Hatlan 1 0 over Sunshine, Kwara 1 0 over MFM, Wiki and Takada 1 1, Ifen Yuba and Aqua Goals. Um, I think at the top, we, we are going to see a lot of um, change of betting because now Plato United are back to the top of the log. I think between Lobi and Plato United, we're going to see a lot of um, switches and changes until the end of the season. Um, so, but we'll have our eyes at the bottom of the table, where the likes of Fiend by Rangers are still in danger, trying to get, get, out, get out of that, of, of that crack. But I hope there will be no more breaks. Um, for, for, because for, for us to finish this season, it's not we wanted to finish it, especially with the FA Cup in fees at some point. So, season rolling well, and maybe not the best, and we, we, wish, we, we, we still wish it's still on TV, but hey, the results say that the players are enjoying themselves. We'll take what we can. We'll take what we can. All right. Thank you very much, buddy. That was the Nigerian sports scene. The World Soccer Report is next on Sports Express, brought to you by MTN. That is the World Soccer Report on Sports Express, brought to you by MTN. Yemi Adisson has steps in. Take a look at the top five leagues across Europe League. Oh, PSG 5 0 Montpellier. Uh, Name 3, Monaco 1. Strasbourg 1 Lille 2. Uh, Osime with the winning goal in that game from a penalty spot. Needs to over Leon Bordeaux goalless with Marseille. The Bundesliga, Bayern have gone top. 3-1 yep. winners at Mainz, Dortmund, 5 0 over Union Berlin, and his seven goals in Gansu. He's, not, he's one it's and a half, two. probably one and a half appearances <laughs> for <laughs> or two and one and a half appearance, one full appearance, two substitute appearances. He's got seven goals there in Holland, just a pure scoring machine. Hoffenheim 2 1 over Leverkusen, that's a Berlin goalless with Schalke. In the La Liga, Leganes 2 1 over Sociedad, um, Omero amongst the goals in that one. Mm -hmm. Sevilla 1 with Alaves, Bilbao 0, Getafe 2, mm -hmm. Barcelona 2 1 over Levante, Real Madrid just egged that let's go 1 0. That the Madrid derby for you, a bit uh, disappointing for me. Yeah. Not much quality. Uh, and I think that's been the story of the Madrid derby this season. From the first one, which ended 0 0, to the one in the Super Cup, mm -hmm. and now to this one. So I think. Both teams respect themselves so much. Maybe they, they cancel so, each other out, they know each other do, so well. They do. Mm. And, um, but you have to give real credit for the fact that Zidane still finds a way to get this team Results, yeah. ticket. Mm. And of course, it looks like he's found a gem in Valverde. Oh, Terrific yeah. player. First name on my team of the week. <laughs> okay. Somebody was already eyeing you. <laughs> <laughs> so this area, Juventus 3 over Fiorentina. Uh, you didn't say nil Inter too. It means Juventus, uh, their three-point gap lead at the top is intact. Yeah. Sassuolo 4-2 over Roma. Lazio 5-1 over Spal. Atlanta 2-2 with Gen Genoa. Yemi, Lazio are now five points behind Juventus with a game in hand. It's no longer a two-horse race. It's definitely a three-team contest. If any of those two sort of mm. Lazio are good enough. And with the form of Serie B, it's sort of absolutely fantastic goal. Yeah. Uh, at the weekend, mm. with his form, you can't look beyond Lazio. 
it's interesting that at the start of the season you probably didn't look at them as one of the guys to try yeah. to break those mm. two. Mm. But Simone Zaga has done a really good job. I think what's critical for Lazio mm -hmm. is the fact that they kept all their big hitters to in the summer. summer. Mm, definitely. All right, and now to the Premier League. Burnley goalers with Arsenal. Man, you goalers with Wolves. <laughs> Liverpool 4 0 over Southampton. Leicester 2 2 with Chelsea. Very good game is that one. And Tottenham 2 0 over Man City. And if Man City's title holders were not dead and buried before, it's I think they have bad. just been, they've not been dead, buried, and what do you do? They've not been, um, what do you do when you burn? When you burn? <laughs> cremated. They've not been cremated, yes. Dead, buried, and cremated. So Liverpool, just a matter of time. But let's talk about that game. Um, Man City reduced to 10 men, Tottenham took full advantage of that. Controversy, 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 and the VAR even makes it even worse. Um, I, I think from That some... VAR incident. Of the penalty. penalty in that intervening two and a half minute period, what if Spurs had scored? What would have happened? They would have taken the goal out. Wow, they would have. Yeah, that's serious. But like I said, controversial or not, I feel Ryan says should have been sent off for the tackle. Mm. Um, I thought that the second penalty was a penalty. The standing, uh, Norris Bridges standing that I felt was and a penalty. If, if, so if it wasn't a penalty, it was not seen as a penalty. So, for mm. a dive, so, uh, but you have to look at one particular player, and that's the Kanga, uh, the defender for, yeah. for sports. Mm. I think he's mm. going to leap some bounds, yeah, make his debut against Liverpool. And shows and it that looks like he can play across because he, he played play left back, back four yesterday. Yeah. So, it was interesting to see how sports set up. They looked like a back four, but also looked like with the new thing that's really now coming from Italy, uh, three and a half at the back. So, you have them switching to a back mm. three, then the full back pushes. For the surgery. Okay, before we go, let's talk about the elephant in the room so that it doesn't appear with the green. <laughs> a lot of people have said a lot of things about the big shock transfer, shock move of the general transfer window. Of course, yeah. that's Odion Igalo. I was you won't go there. I, I was, so, uh, my, my opinion is, you know, I think a lot of people are a bit too negative about it, especially from a Nigerian perspective. I think where United are right now, except you want to act up, Igalo is a bit of an upgrade. He's needed, he will fight, he will hustle, he may not score many goals, but he at least will give you something different, he'll give you some fight. Not United just losing limply and not giving an effort, and you know, those guys feeling over pampered and all of that. It's a great opportunity for him, he will run through brick walls for United. Can't be much worse than they've done. I don't know. I, I have two perspectives. Um, One from a United fan's perspective. As mm. a fan, no. Okay. Um, I think this just epitomizes the demise exactly. of Manchester United. Agreed. How bad it is. Because but, I'm a fan, mm. I'm like, come on, Manchester United? Or Joe Gallo? Come on. But, as a realist and as a football person, it's a great, I as a Nigerian, mm. it's a great move. Realizing that Barcelona offered him the same move. Barcelona, with all due respect, they're bigger than United. They offered him probably the same move last season. Yes. So, so there's wait, something there. That's not a bigger team than Manchester United. Let's not. Uh, no, yes, that's, <laughs> what, I that's yeah, what I just said. That's what I just said. That's what I just said now. <laughs> but I guess it, for a Nigerian, it's a huge move. Mm. Mm. So to make tons of money, he has a big, big shop window for himself again. Mm. I was at the event yesterday, and I think his lawyer was there, was saying he had that. As at 12 noon, mm. there was nothing on the cards. Then sports, Inter. Manchester United, two of the biggest teams across Europe. So, mm -hmm. hey, if you're out so, there, you're playing this football, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Today in the Serie A, huge game. Sampdoria play Napoli. You watch out for that. And that's our show. Our best of the rest, of course, we stick to the um, Spurs Man City game. And what a debut for Spurs PSV recruit Steven Bergman. His sensational goal against Man City that led Spurs to a 2 0 victory. That's our moment of the weekend. My name is Dick Jamoto. Thanks for your time. Good morning.